so so that will i tell you the same shit i tell everybody that it uh that my i ain't gonna say advice you can't actually say advice because that's corporate uh everybody that it works for they follow this setting and the setting is you have to follow a reason why you want to be healthy there you go that was gonna that's gonna be one of the questions i asked you in that consultation why do you want to why do you want to lose weight you know because you can have like all of these things fail every last thing that anybody can tell you they all fail they don't work and they don't work for that for that reason because people don't have a real reason for wanting to get healthy i got healthy because i watched my grandmother wither away in a year from chemotherapy and die so i always thought about that it wasn't just about what style i didn't give a fuck about what style or what ideology i use or what fad happened is because i know my grandmother was high energy and that route to heal her wasn't good enough she used to take us she used to take us like in the, in the summer we'll go to atlantic city because they gamble like my grand like i'm in baltimore so um the uh the racetrack is right up the street right in my neighborhood pimlico racetrack so they gamble my dad gambled, my mother gambled, both my grandmothers gambled, everybody gambled. They paid lot, they all them played the lotteries and all of that. So I never I love I never liked that. So but we'll go to Atlantic City. She'll drive us up there, her Lincoln Town car, one of the most comfortable cars in the world. It was just I always went to sleep. Gamble for three days, drive us back, go to work, then go to sleep. She did this for two decades, I think. A decade and a half. You know what I'm saying? So I watched this lady, like all, even, I could even give credit to my mom. All the, everybody I come from are hardworking people. They, they got a high work ethic, right? So I watched this lady have high energy. And then to see her with her from chemo, that shit, not only did it break my heart because I was my favorite girl in the world, but it let me know that something ain't right. So I always kept that in my mind. And then that was like my big reason. Then the other reason is I wanted to be a dad. I wanted my son to be healthy. Um, so I didn't care. I can, I'm going to tell you about Dr. Savior. I'm going to tell you about alkalinity. I'm going to tell you about the information about the body. But that shit only mattered because of the real reason I wanted to be healthy. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, that is the fundamental thing that's going to make a difference. None of the other stuff is going to make a difference. It, make it, it actually makes it matter when you have a real reason for being healthy. You know what I'm saying? So what I did was, <clears throat> luckily enough, I met my mentor. He was a millionaire from my neighborhood. And he took time out to really teach me basic stuff and the success principles he taught me i said you know what i'm gonna invest this in health everybody put it in money made money quick that shit was easy um but i said i mean invest in the health and um so that's really what skyrocketed it gave me because he told me how to be a student so I, a lot of stuff i'm gonna teach you is that i can teach anybody is just is, is skills that i learned from him but it's only backed by I'm not fucking tolerating this. I'm not going to be somebody's fucking plaything. I'm not going to be somebody that you're going to tell anything to. and You can just think I'm a, a joke because I take it like y'all killed my grandmother. That's how I take it. She's the, she the person that named me. She named me Miguel because my brother's name was Michael. So um, he got killed. <clears throat> we used to call him Derek though. His middle name was Derek. So she named me Miguel. So I just took that shit personal. And like my mentor said, you you gotta find somebody you can't quit on. Cause you'll quit on you. And you gotta that's what's really gonna push you to be healthy. Is that you you doing it for a bigger purpose, not just to feel better, not just to look good, uh, but to be here to do something special. And that's pretty much in everything. You gotta have a big reason for why you wanna be healthy because you're gonna go through times within your process. Where it's like, yo, I don't feel like driving over to the health food store, nigga. I don't want to order this shit off fucking line. Like, you're going to have that. Yep. Those moments. And you have to go, I'm Definitely. not doing it for this. I'm doing it for this reason. I'm doing it for that reason. That has to substitute. You got to blatantly and deliberately do that shit every time. As much yeah, or as often as possible. It, there's times where, like, I had to tell our Sean this before. Because I was like, people, he's, he's like, yeah, but it's easy. You go to the gym all the time, Mandrill. And. You like working out. I'm like, yeah, but you don't understand, dude. Even for us, there are days, man, where it's just not happening. There are days where we don't feel yeah. like doing it all the time. We don't. A, a lot of those times, man, we do it even though we don't want to. We really don't want to be there. But we do it anyway. And it's like, 
He's like, really? I was like, yeah, that, dude, we, no, there, I told him, uh, there have been times where I've made it all the way to the gym. I'm in the gym, so I put my bag down, and I'm sitting on the bench. Bullshit. I did it And I times. got up, and I got up, picked my shit up, and left. I left out the gym. I didn't do a single thing. I said, there's just, you can't let days like that get to you because you're going to have days like that where you just not, bro, you just ain't going to feel like doing it. There's just no yeah. two ways about it. It's just like, some days, man, it's just not happening. Hey, you sugar. Can't, you can't think that that's the end of the world, though. You know what I mean? You can't let that get you down and um, be like, oh, man, I'm a piece of crap. But it's going to motivate you for next time because once you do that, you are going to feel bad for not working out once you not working out. You know, you know what I mean? You're going to feel bad for not working out. And um, hey, pretty baby, what's going on? What, what, what's happening here? Uh Oh, DB. Hmm. Yeah, I, I felt like absolute trash when I don't work out like that, man. I mean, it's just but because it's about the commitment to yourself. Yeah, it's like it go past your body, because if you just. Yeah. yeah. The thing, the reason I, I talk like that and the reason I talk like I talk is because I understand neuroscience and I, underst- I have an understanding of how the body is like its concept is to, is to keep you alive. But it, all it knows is what you've been doing is your life. So it's going to fight the fuck out of you. At first. <laughs> yeah, at first, exactly. Yeah, at first, at first your body will be like, hey, 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 what are you, what are you yeah. doing? Right. What is you this? You don't think you're trying to kill it. Right, <laughs> right. What are you... And so then, like, after about a week, maybe two weeks, depending on how out of shape you are, after the, especially after two weeks, your body's mm-hmm. going to be like, oh, so this is what we're doing now. Yeah. Okay, right. cool. And your body's going to... your body's gonna, The adapt, adaptation process is going to start right then and there. And so yeah, after about it. a month or your first four weeks, you're going to start to feel better. At the first four weeks, you're going to start to feel better, right? After uh, So that's one month. After two months, you're definitely going to feel a lot better, and, you might, and you'll start to see changes. Three months, definitely see changes. Five months, everyone's going to going to ask what you've been doing. Six months, dude, everyone's going to ask you how. How did you yeah. do that? Yeah. yeah I've, been in, I've been in the house days <laughs> for years now. How how did you how did you um I like, am not like people be keep shit a bang. Let's keep shit a bang. I'm not I'm not even gonna I'm gonna pull it I'm gonna pull this shit up. Go ahead, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up because people will be thinking I'm just talking, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna show you. I can show yeah, no you better problem. than I can tell yeah. you. But it, it's it's it, yeah, it's it's not the, the, like keep in mind that the, that first about that first two weeks. Those are going to be your hardest, hardest days in the whole process, the first two weeks. And that's why a lot of people quit. You know what I'm saying? They, they start, they're starting something new. It's uncomfortable. Your body doesn't know, what's, really know what's going on in the first week. The second week, your body's going to wake up and like, oh, okay, this is, so this, we're doing this now. This is a part of our day. Got it. Now I can start making changes. And uh, it will start making changes. So and you um, you start feeling better, man. Yeah, it's so, it, it, is it worth it? Yes, it's definitely worth it. Going so through that pain, worth it. On the on the screen, right? Like I, when I tell you, I've given people real results. I've given people real shit. I'm not somebody that's just talking shit. This person you're looking at is somebody I graduated high school with. We graduated '04. In the same high school it says the vegan mechanic right we both were in the automotive um trade he learned how to be vegan from me he has thirty-three thousand subscribers so at the same time simultaneously i'm telling you that i've done this and been teaching you can go and look at his channel i can put it i can put the link in the in, 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 in the chat you can go look at his channel how long he's been he's been doing it right so two things what i'm saying i've been doing it for a long time now and suffer no delusions i don't need to clout chase off of any one of you motherfuckers i don't need you to clout chase for for any i don't need anybody in this space 
I didn't have any channel, but people that I'm around have 33. That's somebody I know and laughed and joked with and went to lunch with. 33. I don't need to cloud chase off of none of you. We graduated from the same high school. He learned from me. I got real results in real life. <laughs> like, how do people talk? Real results. And people get real results. I'm not bumping my gums. I don't need to cloud chase any of y'all for attention. I could go to the, the whole vegan world and blow the fuck up, but I don't. I'm here because these are conversations that need to happen. I'm here for a specific reason. I'm not just running my mouth, talking shit. Another person is a C of the Duke of Tears. Another person is True Freeman. These people that I call that's well known and definitely go check his channel out because he's married. They're in real estate. He has a wife. <clears throat> they do. Um, She has a channel too. How positive stuff. You do vlogs, real shit. Go subscribe, go check them out. That's somebody I know in real life. You tell them Miguel sent you, yeah, you know, they take care of you. I don't think they do lives, but they do pre records. So, um, that's just a that's just a person I can show you on YouTube. I mean, I don't, I can't, I could go through my inbox to thank. I don't know how many people has been at this time. I'm telling you the way I explain stuff, it works. The way I'm telling you to do it, it works. But it's about the mindset. It's about how you think because. That, like we just said, I can't emphasize it enough. It's going to be a time, bro. It's going to be a specific time. It's going to come down to one or two times in your entire life where you really don't fucking want to do it. And that's the exact time you have to do it. You got to have something bigger than I want to look good. I want to be cute for IG. You got to not just I want to be there for my family. No, I have to be at my grandson's uh, college graduation. I have to be here. Like you have to have that type of deal, bro. You gotta have that type of mindset. Like that's what's gonna push you through. So we can get into the details and the whistle names and what to do and what not to do and stuff like that. That stuff is easy, but I promise you all that stuff has failed. On its own, it will fail. You gotta want something, you gotta have a, a a a real want for why you are doing what you're doing. And literally be passionate about something and kind of use that energy. You know what I mean? I watch my grandmother wither away. I'm not the big health nut. I think people should help be healthy. I think people should live for 200 years. Nah, I watch my baby, my favorite girl on the earth, wither away and die with that fake ass shit that they got going on in that, um, you know, mainstream media, mainstream health shit. And I should know that shit don't work. You know what I mean? And that's that's what took me in this direction. And to the point where my son, I, I've stood on it. My son was in a NICU. You're not doing this. You're not doing that. I stood on what I learned. And that boy is healthy as fuck. He grew up on breast milk and um, homemade hemp milk. That is mom made. Uh, we put in there. She, I can't. I don't know the exact amount. But she mostly she did about. Because uh, we use like the bullet. The uh, magic shit. Whatever that shit was. Magic bullet. Whatever the fuck that shit is. The ninja actually. <clears throat> and um, hip hearts. Spring water. Dates. That boy drunk that shit like it was <laughs> gold. And um, he wasn't. He never did the throwing up shit. Um, high energy, slept through the night. Very respectful to this to this moment. So he's literally the most obedient, well behaved child I've ever seen in my life. I'm not saying it because it's my son. Um, so that shit plays into it. You know what I mean? So got a lot of results with it. A lot of results with it. So I don't have nobody trying to gas you thinking a world class need to cloud chase off of any of these niggas. I don't need you. It ain't a singles. I don't come from the Lapeef, the Lapeef, Anton Daniels. I don't come from that trip. I built my shit. I'm one of the only niggas that built their shit from thin air. That's why it took me a long time. I ain't built my shit on lives. I got videos. I know how to edit. I ain't taking shots at nobody. It's not a, It's not directed to nobody. I built my shit from thin air. Grinding. My biggest video is not no lie. My biggest video is a Kevin Samuels reaction. With 15, I caught the wave like MTR caught the wave. I was there when this shit was happening. I seen Kevin Samuels before he went live. I was there. My shit, 15,000. Next one was 4,000. I had to take that one down because I got copyright strike. The only copyright strike I got. So I caught that shit. I said, my channel not about, about to be no Kevin Samuels reaction channel because I don't even follow trends. I don't do that. You know what I mean? You got to have some integrity and stand on something. So a lot of people can talk. But I promise you, if if <laughs> i promise you i if people had if you could only be judged if success was only judged by the people you produce 
it be me and the prophets there's not a lot of people that do it and don't take credit i don't want no credit i don't want to be seen i'm only doing it because i have to because i see where it's going and this little boy that belonged to me he not gonna be able to say daddy sat around and ain't do shit because i've done enough off off screen you know my sister i didn't have my sister come up here and tell y'all what i've done i'm not pretending i don't pretend to be for children i've done it in real time i've done it standing in court defending the baby wondering why it's a fucking sheriff in the court why is it a sheriff in the courtroom now that shit don't work calling that shit out i've done it in real life i protect children in real life i've hurt i've hurt people over children in real life i'm not running my mouth but it is what it is and like i tell guys like we was having a dope conversation the other day on um um 500 podcast our time is coming the only thing that's going to come with that man Drew and, and Doug will and everybody in the chat is that when that time comes it's going to be hard it's going to be because people have to come this way and the plan shit is going to be over like yo what was you saying about the the vegan shit what was you saying because i've gotten this now your grandmother got cancer now you want to listen now you about to die now you you got pulsations in the back of your head you think you about to have an azure aneurysm but you watch me talk about it for two three years now you want to do it i ain't do it when it was cool i ain't do it when it was a fad i did it because that's what i was supposed to do whether you call it god whether you call it responsibilities i seen something that need to change and i did something about it that's why we was having a conversation the other day on um on this is risky this might be risky they channel that's a dope channel uh the, the dude had be cool he was like what's up with guys of confidence right he was like what helps a guy get confidence i said when you're not being a bitch out of people's sight when you're not being a bitch why you why you by yourself when you're accomplishing things by yourself nobody knows yeah. about it exactly because my mentor taught me he said all you are is who you are when nobody looking see when nobody looking do you fuck with you like y'all can talk i'm gonna keep shit a bean you could talk about the sisterhood we can keep talking about the sisterhood we and what they doing but them bitches be fucking with each other like they fuck with themselves enough to i know i want to feel this type of way i know i want to get this i want to get that and they actually put in the effort outside of people's sight to get what they get for a man you got to do the same shit bro y'all niggas you don't fuck with you a lot of you niggas don't even you don't fuck with you you don't you know you're supposed to be doing this that the third the fourth the fifth that's why men don't have the confidence they're supposed to have because you know you don't fuck with you you worried about what a nigga gonna say and what a nigga gonna do niggas gonna say and do either way either way guess what you don't do it you do do it you die you don't die they're gonna do it either way what's the difference that's the shit that got me that woke me up it's this mentality that pushed people through my channel name is the world class because this is how people that operate on the world class level think this shit is regular shit to mandrell that he that he hearing this is normal shit he's operated on a world class level it's normal this preaching to the choir he heard this already this is regular shit to him this is how we think when i when i got tired at 15 years old at, at crying every day because somebody killed my brother my mindset was make it matter i'm gonna make my brother getting killed matter and i'm the person i am today i can say i'm 38 just turned 38 never drink never smoke no tattoos no criminal record never try to drink never wore my pants off my ass been vegan since 2012. why because i'm little puppy little brother i'm puppy son we not to be fucked with they gonna know where we come from because i'm here everywhere i go i make a difference because i'm representing i'm representing my grandmother I'm representing my dad. I'm representing my big brother. Everywhere I go, every time you crack that threshold, turn on this camera, people see you. We represent. We come from greatness. My my uncle used to tell me every day, every time he seen me, you come from greatness. You come from great stock. Be a leader, not a follower. Change is the only thing that stays the same. Every single solace, every time you see me. It's a mindset. Niggas on it, you niggas breathe air just like I breathe air. Why you not? It's discipline. Why you don't get the respect I get everywhere I go? Cause you don't fuck with you i fucks with me on some real shit it ain't a nigga or a prophet on earth that if if it if it was one guy to pick to get it done i would i wouldn't pick nobody i wouldn't pick jesus i wouldn't pick prophet muhammad i wouldn't pick peace be upon him i wouldn't pick noble Drew Ali. peace be upon him i wouldn't pick malcolm x i pick me 100 of the time because i know i'm that nigga. i watch what the fuck i do when nobody's looking 
can you say the same you willing to stand on that you got to know a woman got to look at a man and realize like and man, man let me keep shit a bean you right a lot of shit that's passing off as men it's not they're not men because a woman pulls a look at you and go that nigga can take us just anywhere just about anywhere you gotta she gotta be able to look at you and go you know what wherever you go i want to go you gotta be that type of guy now that doesn't mean she always understand everything but it got to be something behind that shit, bro it got to be something behind i want to get money i want to be healthy i want i want to see change in the world i want the world to be better why because i'm that nigga. always been always will be i come from niggas that's that nigga. and that's just because i'm here i want this to be the greatest generation of all time because i'm here because i think the only way to honor the people i come from is to make history like they did Fuck it i'm not hiding it's gonna be the greatest generation of all time because no more miguel was here because the world class was here i'm not hiding Fuck with me do something about it your move i'm serious about mine what you gonna do you probably you probably should take yourself the fuck out if i'm on the other side if it's war because you're gonna lose i'm not trying to be a hero and that, that's the thing how that's how like this is the mindset i took to getting healthy bro fuck you like that's how i took it like the, these industries it's like fuck me that's how you taking it okay bitch if it's fuck me bitches fuck you fuck you every time you hear that thought you know yeah you know you can get away with eating this and eating that that's some part of you saying fuck you that helps you realize who's what you shouldn't be having no thought if you on the same page with you why you got a thought that's in the competition or in contradiction to your goal yeah you you've been infiltrated you ain't you ain't with me fuck you that's the mindset bro you got to have that type of mindset you got to have something assisting you because it's like moving a mountain you got to have that inertia you got to have that you got to build that energy to move a mountain you got it that's how you got to think about it you can do it people we can be way healthier than what we what we are but the mental health got to precede the physical health or at least join it it got to be simultaneous at at worst that you got to increase your mental health and not just i'm not talking like I, this shit irritates me i'm not talking sitting down with a psychi psychologist or a psychiatrist i'm talking real mental health having your mind be healthy you need to know the functions of your mind like you do your body if you even know your body how does your mind work how does your brain work that's why i keep talking neuroscience what part of your brain needs to be fed with what 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 this left brain this right brain that princella talking about what part needs to be filled with what colors with what sounds how many i loves you do you need to hear how many how many like i told you my uncle used to tell me you come from greatness how many times you need to be associated to greatness how many times you need to hear that you'll go and you eat health right you'll have health you'll be like wait well, i need to eat three times a day how many times do you need somebody to tell you you great at that do you know what's the organ organization in your mind do you have a clue you have thought about it what does your name mean people call you your name every day what does it mean my name is miguel it comes from mikhail one who is like god i know the meaning of my name so every time somebody says my name i'm supposed to be like god that's what i get reminded i hear that all the time you know what i'm saying like stuff like that your mental health gotta go with your physical health and you start to think of your body like uh, my mind is like god to me my body is the property of god so i'm not going to let you play games with my body my ears eyes you're not going to play games in front of my face because that's like you helping it's like you trying to convince me to say fuck god or say fuck me either way bitch if it's fuck me it's fuck you take that shit personal bro you tell you got a right to take that shit personal you got a right protect yourself at all times like uh hank always saying shout out to hank it's a mindset bro it's a mindset you gotta it starts with a mindset and you don't have to be as grandiose as me you don't gotta want to make a 60 or 7 70 million a month you don't gotta have that mindset it could be whatever level you at it could be bigger it could be smaller but stand on something and say fuck it bitch you're gonna have to kill me to get out of this spot be willing to die for something 
want a life you want to live you want to live healthy and that shit that shit ain't easy you think everybody healthy you, you gotta fight for that people be saying at sacrifice it's not a sacrifice i don't be saying this shit as sacrifice i'm just not taking a route of something that's not good enough fuck you and that bitch fuck you that wasn't ever an option to go back and sit at the family function <laughs> go sit at the family function and get just as sick to feel horrible fuck you you got it right man to take that shit personal take mediocrity personal personal mediocrity take it personal when it comes to the things that you dream about and the things that comes to the things that you want to get done in life take that shit personal like bitch who you talking to all you got to do is this and we can just like hospice i could never have that conversation if i'm ever in hospice bitch bitch no we getting out of here if i got something to do in life i'm getting up out of here i don't care how bad it is like sir your heart's barely hanging on i couldn't give a fuck as long as i got breath i'm representing a lot of dead people that didn't get the opportunity to be great i take it personal i take it there i take it there i don't know how many of the people i come from see people say ancestors i take it as the people i come from that's how i take it they got to be fucking they got to be the shit because i am that's why you don't see me slandering my mom that guy she was she, i will tell the truth about what she did but i got it she got to be the shit too because i'm the shit i'm that nigga so wherever the fuck I come from from 20,000 years ago, bitch, you're not about to disrespect them. I, I, I take that shit personal. Like the people we talking about, um, dead people, I take it personal. Gotta have something, but that's my shit. I'm giving y'all an idea of how I think. You can do it for yourself. I'm not playing no game. You're not gonna play games with Gina Grandson. God smack the shit out of you on some real shit. Not, I'm, I don't come from that shit you can take some shit from. So when I see these games that they play, not just on these panels, but on a world-class level. I'm not even talking about YouTube. These people that have put in thousand-year game plans, hundred-year game plans, millennium game plans to keep you sick, to keep you stupid. Take that shit personal, bro. I shit, I, I do. I just take it personal. That's how I am, man. Gotta have a mindset of I'm not the nigga to play with. I'm not gonna play games with me. Or find a nigga that is like me and support that nigga. Make me no difference. Because I ain't going to let them fuck with you. You got to have that mindset, though, bro. Whatever, however it is. And then all that shit matter after that. Then everything I say matter because it's like. I got the tank. I'm just loading the gun. I'm just putting uh, the missile, <laughs> the the little rocket in the, um, in, in, in the shaft. We have, everything else is built. So when I show my guy. See, like him. And this is why being being a real nigga is important because if he was a fake nigga i wouldn't have told him shit but he's a real nigga and kept shit a stack with me you know what i mean went on no fake shit so once i changed he was like he knew it was cool to reach out hey yo what's you what you doing oh this that the third the fourth and the fifth damn this that the third and the fourth i'm gonna i'm probably gonna get him on um get him on show i got two two homeboys from school that um that's big with it uh I, actually I, I yeah i probably need to get both of them at the same time pause <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And um because if you a fake nigga and you 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 don't have a good relationship with people, you don't he don't if he was a fake nigga, he don't ask me the question, he don't have his channel up. 33,000 subscribers. God went you school with. Not somebody I met through YouTube or Facebook. You understand? You should have stacked. I don't know how many people on the internet uh on the on these spaces can do what i just just did you can go to his channel and ask him he he'd be watching the channel the, the yeah, stream i talk about not it. many not many can do what you just did because um like even that that's something that's a part of the service i provide too the the help with the mental portion of it gotcha. and motivation gotcha. you have to because and uh, other trainers don't do it like that's what i discovered so many trainers don't work on that part they just kind of tell you what to do and like i said my shit comes in a phone app and like I, I got a review from a, a, cl a client i have he's like he likes it so much he's like i love this thing so much because right now it's kind of like bare boat is skeleton skeleton crew kind of thing you know what i'm saying like oh, i have ideas of, of what changes i want to make to make, make on it to make it really really nice you know but uh because it's still right right now it's nice but he was like like he likes it he told me my client told me he likes it because it makes the experience in the gym not so overwhelming 
Right. Like he goes to the gym, he opens up his app, he sees his workout routine. He's like, okay, I know what I got to do. Let me go to this machine and do this. Okay, three sets of that. How many reps? That many. Reps? Okay, cool. He just does it. And plus, it comes with videos of demonstrations of the exercises. Uh, put you got? Do you got a wrench? I don't matter. Just just put it in the um, put it in the private chat. I put it in there for you. Yeah, your, your link to your thing. Oh, to get up for the uh. Yeah. Yeah, for the your service, uh, yeah. Your program, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Absolutely. But yeah, I mean, like, like I said, that comes with videos on how to do the exercises and whatnot. I'm just like, what are you doing? Like, what? Why would you not? <laughs> I'm looking at people like, why are y'all not doing this? Like, the thing about stuff like that, though, Mandro, is like people, we like the self service stuff, the stuff they can do on their own, but they don't have no self. So I'm working on the video go. right now. I'm working on a video right now to address that. It's going to be uh, the first lesson in the, um, my WIT series. WIT, W-I-T, whatever it takes. I mean, I said it like that. I'm going to get more conversations like like that, like I just had. I probably just need to clip that and put it in the video. <laughs> but, I mean, that's the mindset you got to have. Um, and the first lesson is going to be, um, you know, identity. Well, identity and uh, financial literacy and how they the same thing. They're not different. You know what I'm saying, but you people don't have a so to the point where you got. I got stress here, right? Here. Yeah, if you yeah. want to, of course, I still you see, I still got Mike, yeah. big Mike. I that's all I don't know how to do, bro. I don't do anything else, bro. If I rock with you, I rock with you. So I just put on the uh, if y'all want to schedule a mandrill. Uh, get the coaching because you need you need coaching because it, it's a it's a way to coaching is a way to how do you say shorten your learning curve because and oh my you, god does it ever yeah help you shorten your learning curve <laughs> to kind of like deprogram you from doing things the wrong way <clears throat> everybody needs a coach tiger woods uh, i think he's still playing he still has a coach he's tiger woods like who the fuck knows go better than him but you but you need you need coaching like you see in there and um there's, obviously, an, there's, there's, an, there's an, a millionaire or billionaire who doesn't hire consultants and coaches that's a fact that's not a fact. what they still do it to this day warren buffett what hires is. consultants and coaches yeah they all do yes yep that's how they yep. keep winning yeah like you said it shortens the learning curve so much because you got someone down there on the ground level with you telling you where you're going wrong what absolutely. to do right why the shit doesn't work or why it does work the way it does absolutely. and they're figuring this thing out for you with yeah. you you know what i'm saying and you learn on the fly but you look you don't have to sit there hours and hours and hours of learning like i did yeah you're paying me this price and i'm teaching you everything i know because my thing is the purpose of a trainer you can keep them for, keep us from motivation but my thing is i should be temporary you should be with me at the longest about eight to 12 months as far as really needing me if you really need me because right. uh, in eight months if you're doing what i'm telling you to do you can be a whole different person in eight months period that's a, that's if you long stroking it eight months you can be a completely different person yeah. if you long stroking it you know what i'm saying but every every 11 months at least when i first heard it i think they shorten it even every 11 months you got a whole new body all new cells you gotta you gotta once once you like when you first hear that and you research it and you see that it's true it's it it will change your entire mind if i got all new cells every 11 months but i got aches and pains that's over 11 months old that means you have to be doing something to maintain the problem. Oh no, baby, what is you doing? I know damn well you ain't been watching it this long and ain't hit that like button. You son of a bitch. <laughs> going right for the jugular, aren't you? And hit the like button before we buy something. What's going on? Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Hit that little red button and consider becoming a mother. Why not? Why haven't you heard what they say about me? I'm a degenerate fucking animal. Everything not gonna end up on the channel, man. We gonna put stuff in the back you know for the people that's put channel i mean it's okay you know some people want to be freeloaders i used to did it
Cash App, IG, link, it will be in the description. Also, the email, if you find something you want me to react to, man, hit me up in the email. Um, now, let's get back to the video. Appreciate you. Neglect is yeah. also doing something. Neglect it, is exactly. an action. Inaction is also an action. You're absolutely right. We right. said, and I learned it in the army. Inaction is also an action. Mm-hmm. Sitting there yeah. doing nothing, you also do. You also doing something. Mm-hmm. It's a habit let, because it, let, it qualifies yeah. as a habit. Right. You let other shit happens, and in our case, we let we just letting shit happen to us. Right. As of being proactive about the right things, you know. Yeah. Like this has been a really good experience for me. Um, going up and coming down. Yeah, going up it was fun, oh. man. I ate whatever I wanted. Had a ball. Yeah. Right? Listen. Then I, I hit around two thirty. I said, "Oh God, okay." The last time two uh, twenty, my face got fat. I said, like, "Damn, what happened to the jawline?" You know, you know what's like, you know what's crazy about that? I, I looked I looked at the old video with you in it, and I was like, "Yeah, that nigga was fat." <laughs> Compared to now, it was like last time I seen you with a with a live. Like you, you definitely did. Yeah, I, I kept it quiet for a long time too. I um. The last time I actually was up in weight was the beginning of COVID. I actually put on like 10 pounds. I was up to like 179. And then now I didn't drop 20 something pounds since then. It was about 19 pounds since then. Mm, okay. Yeah. Just get myself together. Just basic stuff, man. Just the most simplest things of just making sure I'm taking in more water than solids. It's a, it's just, it's just amazing. Alkaline water is amazing. Natural alkaline water, not that essential stuff. I know everybody drink that shit. Fiji is better. Just the nat- naturally alkaline water over that mechanic, uh, me- mechanical, whatever the fuck, or chemical, uh, shit, which is probably fucking tap water, which you don't want in your life. I hate tap water. Um, but practically, again, I'll just, I always start. Double if you're still listening. I always start with what I did. What I did at the when I when I started to implement my my so-called diet or my health habits. What I did was I did not eat any solids because and the reason I did that I learned about um, digestion. I learned about how backed up the colon is. How much a lot of the stuff we think is fat is just toxins and inflammation. So I was like I got to give my body as much time as possible um, to to get all the feces and muc and well i didn't know about mucus back then but feces out of my body so i i didn't eat any solids before 12 p.m i did i would drink juice i would drink tea wa- a lot of water at least a, a half a gallon of water to give my body as much hydration because we dehydration is a serious thing dehydration the three things you'll find to help that's a commonality even if you're talking about vegans if you're talking about uh mainstream uh medical science personal trainers people are dehydrated vitamin d and iron deficient yeah especially the vitamin d man yeah Listen, people yeah, all we all agree on that <clears throat> yeah like it like you, you you'll see like during our consultation like i mean what one of the number one things that people are deficient at because mm-hmm. i'm gonna talk to you about supplementation too but supplementation man, a lot of, a lot of stuff people don't actually need but one thing you do need i recommend everyone take is vitamin d supplements if you're gonna supplement anything be vitamin d I- I used to so vitamin D deficient. Yeah, yeah. All three you of them. Don't know it. All, don't, yeah, all, yeah. A lot of those those aches and pains that people have. The second I tell them get get some vitamin D, you know, what I'm saying start taking it. I told I show them what kind to get. You know, because you don't have to spend fifty dollars for a bottle. To get, you know, you don't have to spend that much. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Adobe. I I teach you how to save money when buying it. If if you want to buy this kind of stuff anyway, I teach. Look, man. That, you don't that's, do that. Yeah, that, that's been a big thing when I've tried to do before. Like a lot of this stuff, if you don't like, say if you don't have anybody guiding, you can get expensive real quick. Oh yeah, oh right, yeah. it gets expensive real yeah. quick. But then yeah. I, I go like this is, this is some, uh, some stuff called NMN. Now that's to me, if yeah. there was to be a miracle drug, I would say that would be it. It's expensive because it's expensive to make, but uh, it does what it says it's gonna do. Period. It actually heals DNA because DNA degrades over time. Um, throughout our lifetime, but it actually heals and repairs DNA. It, like when I take it, that. like yeah. I've been taking it, and look, no, but my hair and nails grow quick. 
that's that um what is it it's an n-word nisi uh that something mineral, like that um, yeah nisillin or something like that i forgot what it is the... yeah but it's called nmn man look that stuff like, what, like you take that stuff like 30 minutes before you go do cardio bruh bruh you're not stopping you don't have to yeah those so that that's the thing i i, I made sure i address the will i had to there you go thank you that's it niacin N i think it's with niacin niacin yeah niacin yeah yep that's exactly what it is that helps your nails grow um and some uh, some other benefits to it but the reason i did that i wanted to give i wanted to address those three things so when i, I mentioned tea i didn't drink any solids but I, when i mentioned was the liquids that i had i had a tea i put in milk thistle because when you're going through any detox it's going to put a lot of strain on your liver so milk thistle was help yeah and your kids that's that's also yeah but so i wanted to address it um so the milk thistle addressed the liver i, I put in my tea sarsaparilla that addressed the um iron and up and in green tea which is the most this which is the point of all that stuff that i was saying in the beginning to double on everybody listening the, the point i was talking the reason i was talking about it like that because the cravings the cravings you have first of all are artificial the cravings is what's gonna fuck with you the most yeah so you gotta have like that because you're not gonna be eating a lot of sugar with me you, you need to you need to you gotta fight it so green tea help has um chemicals in it natural chemicals in it or natural minerals in it that helps regulate your hormones to help that craving so i got the tea and i took the tea route because it was going to help me with my cravings I, and put i put sauce asperilla in for the um iron and milk this to address the liver just to help my body out obviously it's tea so it's water and then hydrating so i dealt with and the vitamin d was going to come from um I, I took supplements at that time uh i took vitamin d supplements at that time <clears throat> now i just get it from my the, the diets because oh my god hemp like i now, said yeah, my brain now you know what to eat yes i know That's what to eat now I, did, I had no yeah. idea then i just knew what the problem was um so i addressed that so i would eat my solids after 12 p.m or four or five that'd be the latest i can give breakfast was dinner to me so i ate my heaviest meal which makes perfect sense after 12 in the highest part of the day but it, it's relative to what your schedule is so you would have to kind of do the equivalent i was a morning person i got up in the morning i didn't have to work to a little later in the afternoon so you just figure out when your day starts and just half, halfway through the day that's when you eat your heaviest meal that's when you eat dinner you eat dinner first i know it's called breakfast but you would eat what you what we would call or associate to be dinner first but you can it's technically your, your breakfast so i would eat my heaviest meal there so it wouldn't be breakfast food because i already had breakfast with a shake tea um sometimes in my tea i will put an apple <laughs> um because because i like the flavor and i love apples um but smoothies water any type of juice i didn't do too much smoothies to be honest with you um but i never recommend those in the beginning of it either yeah all the sugar in the in morning the like, yeah in the beginning yeah, i, I no never recommend that yeah because yeah, again I didn't, I didn't. when you first start my th I, people like and i'm not super strict or anything like that it's just in the beginning you don't know yeah, what to do because i'm trying to educate you at the same time like i said 18 uh, uh, like i said like nine months from the, from, from the time they start with me I'm like i don't want you i don't want you to need me unless you exactly. want to keep me around for motivation cool exactly. I'll, I'll, I'll stay and work yeah. with you you know but you shouldn't need me as far as education and stuff like that right. as much as you do in the beginning. Right. I do the best I can to give people my sources. Even when I'm talking about debate exactly. stuff, I got my sources. Yep. You don't need me. That's the thing about the guy I showed. He don't need me. I educate him in a way where he don't, he don't be calling me. He knows himself. <laughs> like even like in the first year, he ain't need to call me no more because I give you, I'm giving you the thing. The other guy I can show, um, actually, because he got an IG. His, his, um, let me find him real fast but he he i think he he do weightlifting so he went back to he went back to um i think eating some type of seafood but he got basically the same diet 
I think he ain't do this after like a couple of years. I just gotta find this picture. Oh, here we go. I'll bring him up in a second. Um, yeah, but you don't wanna that how I am, because I'm not trying to make a career out of it. I just I don't know. For me, I just was like, Oh, that's somebody else. That's not him. Is that him? Did he end up in his video? Let me look. It's him training somebody. On, That's something I had, to, I had to realize and, and, and um, remember that people um, going okay. to the jury, what, one reason why people don't like going to the gym is because it can be overwhelming getting in there. Even if they, they got a workout routine written down, you know what I'm saying? They, they get in there just like looking at all the equipment stuff and just don't know what to do. It's a guy. It ain't that bad. It's my guy, uh, Chris Kane. <clears throat> he got his, his IG is Eat to Live. I kind of shared, I shared some stuff with him when, um, cause he do personal training and stuff too. Um, he was, he'd been mainly vegan the last, I think, same time up. Well, I would say eight years. His form years. is terrible. No, that, that's not, that's the person you're training. Yeah. Why don't he stop and, and work on that form? No, I don't Take know. Some of that Listen, weight I, don't, down. I don't, I don't believe in lifting weights. I believe in something else. I don't think you should lift weights. I think you should be natural. Calisthenics. Yeah. I believe in lifting weights. I believe I don't care if you're 80 years old. You should be doing some kind of resistance training, and yeah. you know you should. But I, I have a bias because I've been injured doing it the wrong way. So I'll be honest about that. But there you go. That's what happened. You was doing it the wrong. You was doing it wrong. I know. I, I know. I was doing the wrong way, and plus I was training wrong at the same time. So I got a lot of injuries. Uh, hurt myself. <clears throat> uh, Mama said. Mama said it's funny. Sugar addiction is is real. Yeah, it's the addiction. It is. It's the it really, yeah, yeah. Sugar addiction and very, is real. And very difficult to work through. Yeah. Many people uh quit because they cheat and feel guilty. See, this is yeah. this is again why I was talking like I was talking, because not just the cravings, but a, a sugar is the most addictive thing. I don't know if it's too many chemicals. Outside of heroin. And it's it because, might be more addictive than heroin, it's just heroin destroys your body faster. Yeah, it, the thing is that heroin uh sugar fires up the same receptors that heroin does. That's why I saw it. you get the withdrawal yeah, pains from from, okay. from uh, sugar. Sugar addiction. She's right. Sugar addiction. Uh, sugar addiction is real. It's it's a te- it's intense. It's babies be having it. It can't be intense, man. Uh, and yeah, you you gotta you got some mod. I guess a mod. Oh, and you know, noble. The worst is when you got a client who smokes, and they have to quit. Sugar. Or that nicotine. And then nicotine, oh my god, yeah, and they have to quit sick smoking and sugar, man. That is the worst because I because I know it's, I'm like, he this dude is not about to have a good time, he is not about to have a good time. That's a lot, that's that's like dual withdrawal, <laughs> yeah, it is, man. I mean, and it's just like, good lord, yeah, so oh, y'all why can would you do it to yourself with the smoking? Uh, y'all can check out food spiracy theorists. Um, I think it's like Eat to Live. Check him out too. My guy earlier, I think I posted this shit. Yeah, my guy, um, Call of Tone Loop, his channel too. Mandrills, uh, link the schedule with him is right here. So we're gonna, we gonna surround y'all with some healthy shit. But also, um, I don't have this stuff up, but check out OG, J Speed, um, yeah, probably the most knowledgeable because he has the most experience. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, most experience on that. Yeah, and that, again, um, that's just... why on my channel, on my channel, that's why I do it the way I do because, again, you got three different people from three different generations. Right. Then you get knowledge, the, the knowledge of three people from three different generations at one time. Right. Right. So it's, it's dope. You need as much as you can. You, you need all of it. You know what I'm saying? Plus, if it was dope having um, you had you had the seds up there, yeah. Um, because you also need to see how a family will do it together, how yep. a family has a, a system of working together. I can say with my son mother, even though she didn't take it for herself as much as she's supposed to, we had a system to where my son is when we was together. You know he, he's benefiting from that to be on the same page was cool when he was first being born and shit like that so you wanna you got you gotta also do that for people that's looking to be married 
whether you're doing monogamy or polygamy you got to have an idea of how to be healthy with somebody because me i'm if i'm going to be real with i'm going to be super protective of myself it's not too many people on not too many women on earth that i can actually be in a relationship with because of my diet by itself just my diet by itself i eat a really really strict really really as compared to uh the average person maybe not a monk or something like that but i don't know how many female monks it is on earth <laughs> just the way i eat it would be difficult for a lot of um women it's a it's a girl it's a young lady that live in uh georgia right she uh she do content on facebook she be selling clothes and shit. she go live she finds on the what but we be joking i'd be like what's up bae and she'd be like i can't i can't be with you because i love porn. <laughs> I love bacon. I love eating bacon. <laughs> we, so we'd be joking the shit about that, but it's it's a real deal because you know some some people would think like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot you got to think about, not just it's a lot of things you got to think about to do it and what comes when after you do it because you just being healthy disqualifies you from rela certain relationships. <laughs> being <laughs> being healthy disqualifies you from being with certain people too, bro. So people can be unhealthy with the wife that they have the husband they have get healthy and then y'all not compatible no more because a lot of y'all bonding was a part of being a, a, a part of comfort eating you know what i'm saying yeah and and then you could you could be compatible health wise but then you excel her so much or she excels you so much that you become not compatible so there's a lot to think about now you know you you talking to the real shit because not you don't hear nobody talking about this at all that's the real deal because i've lived it you know what i'm saying so it's a lot you got to think about it's a lot you got to talk about you got to be my mentor used to say you got to be meticulous about being successful meticulous you got to really orchestrate that thing he usually literally used to say that verbatim gotta be meticulous <clears throat> and i think that's why a lot of people don't try because they know they know I don't know how to deal with healthy girls. Dealing with healthy girls as a man is way different from dealing with these regular chicks. The stores are further apart. You know what I mean? They don't want to go to Cheesecake Factory more than most likely when you got cooked. I got to come to you. You got to come to me. This shit is, it's different. The world is different. It's a whole different world I live in than the average person. Especially here in Baltimore. So it's shit you got to think about. But it's 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 absolutely worth it to... to that's why I don't you'll never see me be a type of person to care about traveling. Like I couldn't give a fuck. Because every day I wake up, I wake up in paradise. I was telling people, like man, what else the people tell me all the time, you know, when I was young, I was a teenager, this, that, and the other, thus and so. I'm like, you want to feel like that again? Yeah. All right, let's get started. You yeah. tell me this is gonna get make me feel like that? Yes, and yes, sir, it will. It absolutely will. Every time I open my eyes in the morning, I wake up in Boca Raton. Because the only place you live is in your body. You got to make that a paradise. You get there on you the go. plane, you go to Fiji, and you taking the projects with you. Mm. You taking Chirac with you. You taking, you taking West Baltimore with you. That's the point. Did you really vacate? You taking you taking the trailer, the trailer parks with you. Where do you want to live? We shaming we shaming people about money. You shaming people about health. Could you imagine a nigga that's a millionaire? <clears throat> He's sick, but you got a nigga that made twenty five thousand dollars and he healthy. I'm gonna go with the nigga that made twenty five thousand dollars. He came more by himself than you do. He gonna be here. You not. Yeah, man, you gotta who gotta prioritize it's being healthy because being healthy is not about living for, for forever. It's about increasing the quality of every second of the day that you have. We had a whole conversation on Cheeky Channel about um, which was last Friday, yeah, not yesterday, but Friday before last, um, about time. I'm like, I'm listening to these people say time more important than money, but y'all not healthy. You can't think time is important because you won't get healthy. Like, like I said earlier, do you fuck with you? 
gotta stop disrespecting yourself like we'll talk about the relationships oh these men is disrespectful to the women oh these women disrespectful to the men you disrespectful to you you know you ain't supposed to be eating that bullshit you keep saying fuck you going down that piece of shit ass aisle every day every week you keep saying fuck you getting that dunkin donuts line you don't fuck with you i'll take that shit personal if you was in a relationship with you and you got to watch you treat you the way that you treat you would you would you get a divorce you got a nigga like anton daniels you'll spend five thousand dollars on the versace rule but you won't get your fat ass up and do a fucking push-up free push-ups by the bed that shit's stupid as shit you watching you do that you care more about versace than, than daniels huh but you want all these people to believe in you but you don't that makes sense hmm. that makes perfect sense yep yeah truth is stranger than fiction sure it is what the hell say it again the will i'll talk to you later yeah i got you locked in yeah not a problem man drilly appreciate you you. thank you thank you for the support yes Uh, i'm 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 glad because i'm I'm doing a call to action uh post tomorrow i'm gonna record record myself and and just because i'm looking for 15 people who want to lose 15 pounds in in the next six weeks yeah i think i'm gonna disappear if i use 15 pounds but i got you Hey, so I, I got post on uh, Instagram. So I've been howling at Hank on the on the on the back end. I'll, I'll mm-hmm. put it out here now because, I, like I said, I'm I'm beginning to do it. Um, these are gonna be big videos, so it's not gonna be quick. Uh, I'll, I'll be doing reactions and shit more um, pre-records. Uh, but it gets to the point. Uh, what I want from the brothers in this space, I'm gonna highlight CJ too. Um, I want y'all to put a video together. Top ten things you need young men to know. Top 10 things that you think men, uh, young men need to know. A video, a segment on your live, some shorts, however you want to do it, it'll make me no difference. Just top 10 that you think from your personal experience and your expertise um, that young men need to know. Okay. Yeah, let's just put that together. No matter how you do it, um, if y'all want to come up with a hashtag for it or whatever, but then I'm, I'm going to be asking all the uh, content creators the brothers specifically to do the same thing so top 10 things you need young men to know that you think they need to know you don't okay. got to be in order it is however you want to do it don't make me no difference <clears throat> it's just at least 10 things the top 10 things all right no problem i can do that appreciate it all right fellas i'll let y'all later all right, all right take it easy peace yep. Hey, and, that, and that goes to um any anybody else that's not well i'm asking the content creators directly all of y'all that may not be content creators panelists in the chat you know when you come into my chat or you any one of my videos um put it in the comment top 10 things you can do a list you can explain it you cannot explain it it's up to you it don't make me no difference um you can just put it in one sentence i don't care just top 10 things that you think young men need to know um that you think is important for them to know uh yeah that you would tell your own job so i'm working on this series that's what the wit series is for um it's gonna be 10 lessons <clears throat> um yeah it can be subject no matter what it is but i want to get a guys the a habit of you know investing in the next generation teaching them something that you know is important um so they can have something for them that's not about tick for tatting with the chick. That's not about the white man don't like us. That's not about, um, not that I have a problem with those conversations, but something that's just for them. Um, so they can have information and they know they can come to this space and get, then they, they can come to a, a space where you got older men giving them the information. This is what you need to know. This is what he said, you know, this is what you see. So they can see if it's in conflict, so they can see people's hierarchy. They can see people's value system. Um, and they, obviously they can get substantive information because we can complain, 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 or we can, we can put up 
because if we can't put up then we need to shut up so um take your time do it quickly it's no rush it doesn't matter just just have a habit of when they come to this space at least in our little circle um, these young men have an opportunity to to get priorities to get value system and get some topics that they can uh they can begin working on um so they can stop thinking it's a such thing as downtime and um so they can like uh what les brown said oh no not les brown miles monroe said he said the richest place on the planet is the graveyard because people take all their talent and their gifts with them and i think we got too many brothers that are left without giving us their gifts um for multiple reasons that we complain about so um they say bet better we need to choose better be better can't nobody help us get better than us and if we put in front of them the things that will help them get better that i know we're capable of my guy um sheep stay sleep was in here mandra was in here hank is in this in this space um got podcast tommy b i got your your little wolf freezy <laughs> um bmu and what he doing over there you know it's a lot of us in this space that are, are that are fathers that are career men um that we can share and give some good information sorry if i left you out <clears throat> it's just off the top right now and uh yeah that's what i want to see get the quality up my guy cheeky max cheeky too but i'm gonna be asking people on the panel um directly um not just on the back end but i like i said i've been asking, asking in the back end i'm in a part of a, a few uh group uh group chats not that many um so i'll be asking guys to put that up see if they can do, if you can just do a community post make me no difference ig video don't make no difference shorts just give give kids give these kids an opportunity to get an idea and what's valuable because they out here winging it <clears throat> and um what you and stand basically stand on something because there's too many niggas not standing on shit for me you know what i mean what you got that will you know you've been sitting chilling nah man i just been listening taking it all in um i ain't got much you know, I, ain't, I ain't no content creator i just know being in the spaces paying attention mostly um but yeah man i'm just i'm okay i'm 35 years old and i'm getting to the point where it's like you getting like that proverbial fork in the road. Yeah. It's like, okay, this is going to be you to your drop dead or you can make a change. It's like, bro, just, there's no reason not to. I mean, I'm married, but I don't have the kids. Got a bunch of free time. Got a lot of, and I'm, not, I'm not rich by any stretch. I'm, I'm, I don't make six figures, but I got a lot of extra income. So it's like, what is, what is stopping you? And you see other people who have a lot more, just, what you would call distractions in their life, able to do it, what's your problem? Get to it. Right. I just exactly. need a little, but I don't, but I also have tried to do it on my own. It's like, it's like you were saying earlier about the whole coaching and consulting thing. You don't know what you don't know. Yeah. So to see some help point me in direction and get the, get the process going, you know. Yeah. Um, no, go ahead. Yeah, yeah and if you were talking about, um, what is your you have to find your motivation right um my motivation is i i got a i got a old a younger brother excuse me who's um got some mental issues and is going to need to be taken care of for the rest of his life but also got two parents that are elderly and so he's living with them right now but they're not going to be here forever and then and I, i'm starting to see them like you see it's always weird you see your parents go from being your parents to just being like you can you can see the end coming. Yeah. You kinda you gonna understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, my best um, friend like that right now. What is that? Yeah, like yeah, like my dad, like is no been my you know, he's like your hero, he's my dad, but like I can see him and he's still healthier for his age. He's like seventy one, the mom's seventy three, he still goes out in his garden, does that. But like he's old now. Yeah. And I and like it's it's hitting me every time I see my parents, they're old. And, you know, they, I, they're, they're still my brother who's 33. Yeah, just turned 33. But he, he's, he has to be taken care of. Like, he cannot. If, if, if they go and I'm not there, he's going to be in the street. Like, these people you see in the streets that are, 
you know, they call him crazy, they're just walking around, they're homeless, whatever, he's gonna be one of them. And you know how, I mean, that's probably end up with him you know, dead or disappeared or something. So I don't have really have much of a choice. And I'm not the type of nigga that's just gonna let somebody I care about just go if I can do anything about it. I'm just, mm -hmm. I, I just can't. I wouldn't be able to live myself if he was just out there and I was just living my life. I just, that's just not, this is not gonna work. So, um, at the same time, it's like, I'm not healthy. I eat like crap. I drink a lot more alcohol than I should. So what happens if, you know, my heart just gives out at 40? Now what? He's screwed. So that's, that would be my motivation. He, cause he, he, that's the way I put it. He's the only person in my life that needs me. My wife doesn't, I mean, I love her. She, she doesn't need me. If I drive, if I die, she would miss me, but she can take care of herself. My parents are older, but they can take care of themselves. He need me. So that's, that's my motivation. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, that's what's up. There you go. I, 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 uh, that's my, that was my vulnerability for the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can't, can't do this shit all day, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. You, you got a, you got a little bit of the, 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 the real dead wheel for a minute. That's what's <laughs> no, that's, I mean, that's, you have to, man. You have to find that space. I appreciate you for sharing that. Um, I only do it as an example. I don't, I don't, I don't do it to say, um, not talk about my situation. I don't do it to say that you need to do it, but I, I literally do what I do. So other people don't have to, I'm in this, like, if you go to any other Moorish American channel, they don't sound like me. They don't talk like I talk. Nobody does. I talk like I talk. So nobody else has to, you know what I'm saying? And, um, so don't, don't take it as, as I try to preface it and qualify and say you don't have to do what i'm doing you just have to get the principally speaking addressing the truth of the thing and get into the the real deal of it and get a familiarity with what's real and build what um i'm gonna do a video probably i don't know it should be in this in this yeah it's probably gonna be in this something called the seven seven cents so i'm at to teach that i don't nobody has taught that when you when you start to know when enough is enough, right? You start to recognize principles instantaneously and start to understand what's going on and why it's going on at the same time. So when you deal with the truth, you start to realize it has a pattern and it has familiarities, correlations, um, consistent causations. And then when like those times where it's you could waver and you could falter you have something solid to fall on and go you know what 6 a.m around 6 a.m the sun is gonna come up i just gotta make it to that point you know what i mean that type of surety exists in every circumstance you know what i mean it exists and you need that when you want to quit because my mentor used to say well, he said, when you, when you want to quit, any excuse to do. And you have to have somebody, somebody or something to distract you from those excuses and just keep you on track. So um, that's why I start with that. Then you get into the craft of health, how the body works and stuff like that. It's like, oh, 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 okay. Because um, you realize you don't need that much energy. It's just like technique shit. It's like little shit and technique. That's all it'll be like just throwing stuff with your hands just to protect yourself you'll realize it's that simple when it comes to health it's like when you realize what you're putting in your mouth what you're putting on your skin how to complement that what's congruent proportionate to that it's fun man it becomes amazing and you'll see the correlation between physical health and mental health it's the same shit. that's why i'm gonna show the association between self-development and financial literacy it's almost to the t the same language it's mind-boggling it's amazing resource management whatever you want to say it's the same shit so the title of the uh the first lesson is going to be the best investment is you that's what my mentor taught me best investment is you so i i, I gotta do a lot of not graphics but i gotta do a lot of editing because i gotta make sure i'm not <laughs> make sure i'm not uh violating any what is it fc fc violating any laws and giving financial FC. advice no, was, was it, it? FCC? It was FCC, uh, FCC or FCC? I think it's FCC. FCC. 
Yeah. Something like that. Federal communication. Uh, Are you talking about like the, the like the finance stuff? Yeah. In that the uh, um, FCC has to do like broadcasting and stuff like that. Yeah, I just think I mean it was federal communications. Uh, uh it, you're talking about uh securities, right? FDC, yeah, securities. So that's was that SEC, SEC. Oh, look at that. What is that? I know what you're talking about. It bothers me a lot. Um. Uh. Um. I mean, I can't even think about it. I used to know this by heart. FTC. Uh, Federal Securities Exchange Commission, is that what it is? Yeah, laws. Federal securities laws. I'm Googling it. SEC. No, that's not. This one was. Uh, it's not that one. That's for the securities. It's it's I forgot. Federal no 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 FT yeah federal trade Committee. Yeah, I think it's their laws. F, the FTC. I think that's it. Is the FTC. You can't. It's one of those that govern whether you can get financial advice. <laughs> okay, that, that uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. I haven't fucking dealt with it in so long. No trade commission. Federal trade commission. But they never. Uh. Giving financial advice without a license. There's so many fucking um clients meeting on this shit, as you know. Is it is it illegal to give I forgot the law? Financial advice. There's what a difference between advice and opinion, right? This in Yes, like advice is, advice is commercial. Yes, it's a big difference. Investment advisor. So the core requirement under the Investment Advisors Act of 1940 is that it's being in business of giving investment advice for compensation uh, that triggers the need to register. Okay. Um, can I give financial advice? There's not a specific licensing requirement for uh financial advisors they are generally required to have various securities licenses to sell products are you legally given let's just go to the i used to know the shit about heart either way i'm gonna find about it i just i haven't even started uh no you good i appreciate you thank you for you've been helping all all day because you because i forgot that damn um I forgot this word, niacin. <clears throat> I appreciate you for coming uh, on the stream. Yeah, definitely hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, you can become a member. I'm going to be doing some uh, members only stuff. Uh, the videos that I'm talking about is going to come out in the membership first, probably like a month or two before. Um, so when I'm, I'm finished making it, y'all will get it first. And um, probably, I might not even put the whole thing on it. I might put like, 70 percent of it you know put the rest the last 30 percent for the uh for the members um please share though the most important thing is to share um the people you think oh enjoy this content over here people who ask me hey, what you talk about this is literally the name of the channel world class down in world class conversations keep this thing at a world class level mentally um but like mixing kind of moving shifting from how the fake public shit to the private shit how people really talk in real life all right <laughs> i'm sorry i got lost in the train of thought i just saw that goodness i just heard washed Like we weren't supposed to come up with something this clean, <laughs> you know, like something happened.
We didn't do this because we like you. We did this because we are you. Boom, the world class.